Hey people, Intratier 3v3, Katrin Purification Plant, Blue Team. Goma Pile as a Lick to Alpha, a melee specialist can infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support alongside. Kasuga 7 is a Demon Hunter, a melee spellcaster with strong support and control. And rounding off the team, Chunky Coats as a Commando Knob, infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you, and blows you up. Orky Style begins with a Twin Link Shooter. Red Team. SPB TV Tower as a Lord General fighting in ranged combat begins with a retinue of Stormtroopers very really strong defense and support can also add to the retinue. The Mordian Iron Guard elite scheme here. Kicking off on the west side already. Alongside them though, double Eldar we have Sir Gunter the Kaiser as a Farseer support hero fighting in melee. Some powerful buffs and control. Ulthway elite scheme here and rounding off the teams. Ananunium. With a Warp Spider X arcade teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat by default, ready for capping and harassing some powerful control. And a bit of bother with the Lictor Alpha though immediately. They could teleport away, I suppose. Howling Banshee's here to counter initiate. Warp Spider just wanted to keep the Lictor in place, I think, for that. Over back on the west side. It's uncapped. We have a Sentinel being repaired. Double shooters, some sluggers, a sneaky commando. Looking for the stun, I suppose, and a double guardsman. Through the mid, Farseer gets onto that contested power, and that is the warp rift on the um, Howling Banshees there. Or the rift tear. I always forget what it's called. Howling Banshees get in with their power melee weapons. Oh, the Demon Hunter has a thing. The Liber Malleus. Oh, Sundering. Can now put this on other units in 299. Just put it on those strike squad there, you see. And they are cracking through stuff, eh? 20% melee damage resistance and cursing foes so that they take more melee damage for 6 seconds when they hit them. Pretty sweet to have for your strat squad and go up against those banshees with. Back to the west side, the orcs have pushed through onto the natural power. It's only noded right now. And I assume they're going to bash it. There we go. They are a ducker in. Lick to alpha, sneaking up or rather down the east side. We've got some rangers up. These guys got a damage bonus, yeah, 33 damage per hit to their guns, but they do have a slightly longer cooldown now. So they're a bit bursty. I'm not sure how the DPS calculations actually work out, if it's more or less. But they're doing more damage per shot, which is typically what you want from a sniper rifle. Even if it's perhaps lower DPS overall. Outing Banshee's aspect of fleetness. Far oh, the Sentinel almost went down there. Maybe stayed here a little bit too long. Chunky Coats did not get the decap. Was going for the decap. Maybe could have got the bashing and backed off and been ready for this push. Alongside their ally here. The Demon Hunter. And their Stormtroopers and the Strike Squad are coming up now. More war gear. Emperor's Torch now. The Light of the Emperor. I think it's a 20% damage resist when this is up. It might be more than that. Grenade gets them to move back. Howling Banshees in on the Demon Hunter. They're a big threat. To low level heroes, especially if they can knock you down. Demon Hunter trying to get out. Gets knocked over again. And again. Strat Squad, you're going to help out, fellas. There we go. I think maybe they were trying to use Sundering there on the Strat Squad. But it just kept getting knocked over. Banshee's got wrecked after that, though. Grenade, some friendly fire on the Farseer. Guardians fleet away. It wasn't me. These guys are going to be alright. They're getting quite low, this strat squad here. And they're strangely split up too, just fired out their banishment. 2 to 1 cap early on for the red team. The strat squad drop a model. Meanwhile, west side is red. East side kind of turning red too. Can the fast here push through? They can. They got two of the strat squad models. Little bit sloppy there from Kasuga, I think. I don't think there was much worth in continuing to attack the fast here. Not going to take her down. Ghost Helm is in. That's going to be a great tool to have to stop the Strat Squad getting into melee so easily. Especially when you have Warshout as well. You don't want them in on your Guardians. Rangers went for a cheeky decap, got forced to retreat on the east side. These are the Banshees of Unanunium, who do not have an aspect. We have double Hormone Gaunt Broods though with Adrenal Glands. That's a massive threat to those Howling Banshees. Double Termagants as well. And maybe Pheromones. Yep, Pheromones to support all those little Tyranid fellas and debuff things in range. And 
Toxin Miasma for the damage over time and debuff on hits. Great weapon, I think. Should tear through the Eldar quite well. Some Catechon Devils on the field now for SP SPB TV Tower. One day I'll get that name right. In on the Warp Spider is the Lick to Alpha. Does not have the energy to flesh hook or anything fun. Hormagaunt bashing power. Got two of the gems. Lick to Alpha just trying to run interference. Got a bit too close to base base turrets and stuff. Oh, is this an assist? It's an assist from Sir Gunter. Recognizes it quickly. Goma Pile gets out. Did some good work there. Got a couple of gems. On the west side. Orcs trying to get back onto this VP. Chunky Coats with some stick bombs, I think. Yes. You can see that grenade decorator on top of the commando knob there. Sentinel's quite low, but should be decently safe. Maybe. Here come double stormtroopers with impact grenades. I think they got a slight buff to the impact grenades in 299. Slightly more radius on the explosion. Demon Hunter throws up the... Oh, threw Sundering on the Strat Squad. And threw up Light of the Emperor. And those Banshees got kind of messed up. There's some nice buffs to throw on your early strats. But again, though, they dropped two models. You guys have grenades. They do, but I don't think they had the energy to chuck them. Last turret's going to go down. Farsi having a go. There is Psychic Assailment on the Stormtroopers. That's a global buff from the Demon Hunter. Um, much like the Warp Spider, actually, who has one that I've forgotten the name of. Damn it. What is it called? It improves your range and damage of stuff. Crack shot. There it is. Crack shot and psychic assailment. I think I don't think they're exactly the same, but they're very, very similar. Banshee's in on double hormagaunts with pheromone support and a lick to alphas in there too. This is a dicey fight for the Banshees. They're doing incredibly well. I think they wiped one. Almost. Almost wiped one. Warp Spider's trying to get it. Trying to get it. Maybe just stop and shoot, buddy. Oh, I think if they stopped and sh and shot a burst of their weapon, they would have got them. Flesh hook rangers. Looks like they're maybe going to be okay. Yeah, barely got out. Some lucky escapes. Some close escapes on this east side there. East side power is uncapped on the edge. I don't think I've seen Ananunium get through onto this natural power yet. And they're down to... Oh, they got three units now. Got some warp spiders up. Maybe we'll see double warp spiders. They do work well in pairs. On the west side. Stick bomb time. And more explosions back there. That was the Catechins with their, with their grenade launcher. Has some nice range on it, eh? Heavy weapon squad with heavy bolter. Gonna reset up somewhere. I think they should be a bit more aggressive here. They've got the catechins, they've got the heavy bolter, they've got the sentinel. They should be able to see this off, you would think, and get the VP. But, I mean, orcs can turn the damage on quite quickly with war and stuff. There's Emperor's Torch and Sundering again. Which typically seems to go quite badly for the Banshees. They got, they do have Guide on them. But they're getting... Oh, they got the specials coming, though. Sundering doesn't improve your melee skill. Banishment thrown in. Yeah, that was a very close fight with those buffs going with Guide and Light of the Emperor and Sundering all going. Banshee's barely made it out. Farsia, maybe get the um, Gravity Blade in Tier 2 to help with that fight. Gravity Blade got nerfed slightly, I believe. They now have more damage resistance while they're being held in the air. Weird way up in Tier 2 for Chunky Coats. Powerful anti-infantry sub-commander for the Orcs. Adderton's getting quite low here. They do have their Sarge. Lord General getting quite low. Derek and Nigel both down. That Zap is going to jump. One of the starting abilities of the Weird Boy. But they can't get on the VP. Heavy Bolter stands firm. So does the Sentinel with a missile launcher now. Back through the mid. Demon Hunters put Sundering on themselves. Level 2. Then flees. Looks like they hit the Guardians at least once there. We do have a Dark Reaper squad up for Sir Gunter the Kaiser. Powerful anti-infantry squad from range. Especially versus heavy and super heavy. 
Kasuga going straight to tier 3. So did Goma Pile. And I think they timed it quite well, you know. Have this central power. Maybe not for long, but they had the central power up. Didn't really get a lot of pressure. Didn't really see a lot of pressure. They thought, why not? Let's go tier 3. Goma Pile maybe looking for some big old stompy Carnifexes. Needs a bunch more power for that. Kasuga 7, I'm not sure. Vortima Razorback, maybe. Over on the west side. Slugger's got kind of wrecked there by that shotgun blast, but they're okay, I think. Weird Boy helps them out with a big old warp vomit. Such an amazing ability. Look at this stun. Zap goes in afterwards. Need to be careful, though, Weird Boy. He's alright. He's alright. Commando's level 3. Now with a Orky Shotgun, the special shooter. A sneaky infiltration kit and stick bombs. And dead catechins, apparently. Might see high explosive shells if you can get close enough. Lots of dark up. And that special shooter that knocks stuff down. 30% chance as well is pretty good. Stun bomb is dodged. Orcs applying pressure. Can they set up this heavy bolter here? Commando's got their BD eyes on it. Goes into infiltration. Might see a high explosive shells. Uh, maybe. No, we just headbutting them. Tying them up to help out the shooter boys. I hear a time field or something. What is this? Oh, it's the levitation field from the gravity blade. How are your banshees? They okay? Sir Gunter's banshees are okay. Unanunium did lose their banshees as we saw. Well, I don't know if we saw it on screen. Looks like they died here. But we saw that they were missing them. Warp Spiders do have their aspect. And Unanunium goes straight to tier 3 after that. Did not get double Warp Spiders or a Wraith Lord or something. Carnifex is up for Goma Pile. And they are going Strangle Thorn Cannon. Nasty weapon. Sneaky Sluggers being sneaky using Hide the Boys from the Commando Knob. And they're going to wipe out that Heavy Weapon Squad, surely. Yes, down they go. Nicely done. Great usage of it. Bit of wipe. Demon Hunter through the mid. Gets a decap on the VP. And then flees and maybe lives. Does not live. Banshees are very good at chasing. Impact Grenade came in a little bit too late. A little bit too late. I'm sure he'll forgive them, the Demon Hunter. Inquisitors aren't known to be mental or anything, are they? Land Red Crusader on the field here for Kasuka 7. Lots of Daka with the Hurricane Bolters. I assume the Orcs will be very excited for it. Two blue team heroes down now, though. Ogrins on the way for SPB TV Tower. Ananunium with tons of requisition in Tier 3. Not a lot of power to get anything exciting, though. Lick to Alpha, I think, is the furthest forward. Oh, barely. Mr. Commando, you're going to revive there? I guess they are microing elsewhere. Yep, they're microing their double shooters on this side and their weird boy. 423 to 339. Rezzing says Chunky Coach. There we go. They are level 5 now, this commando, which helps them out a lot because they have a lot of abilities to use, not to mention their infiltration in general, which drains energy. So they want a bunch of energy going. Ouch. High explosive shells and some stick bombs. The Banshees survive. Lick to Alpha, back to their feet now. Did they get... Oh, I think they just repurchased, maybe. There's those Hurricane Bolters doing their thing. Ogrins eyeing it up. They can heavy melee their way through everything. Got knocked over there. There was an impact grenade, I think. Some support from the Eldar now. Another impact grenade kills on the Ogrins. And they're now getting suppressed by the Twin Link to Salt Cannon and those Hurricane Bolters. Sentinel getting some shots in with a crap missile. Needs to be careful though, because that's a lot of DPS for a Sentinel to deal with. They don't have vehicle armor. So all that small armor fire is very painful. Another heavy weapon squad on the way for SPB TV Tower, maybe for a Laz Cannon, eh? Kesuga 7. With Grey Knight Terminators on the way. With Borky Battle Wagon on the way. Back over on the southeast corner. Still tons of pressure on this power. Not sure if it actually got bashed though. Haywire on the Carnifex. Can they do something about it now? 
Fire Prism's here, getting shots in. Banshee's on it. These are Aspect of Fleetness Banshees, though, but at least they stop it firing that Stranglethorn Cannon. Now in on the Hormagaunts. They wiped the Hormagaunts, but they did get Stranglethorn Cannon as well. Not sure if they're going to get it. The, the Fire Prism could risk chasing. Oh, if they get... It stopped. The Fire Prism stopped. I think it could have got it there. I think it could have got it there. I think it could have got vision from the Banshee's chase. Oh, never mind. It had the range. Like 65 range or something on his Fire Prisms. It's quite nasty. The Warp Spider squad went in there as well. To try and maybe melee it down. Stomp is missed from the Sentinel. That can often be a death sentence as you get into late game if you miss that stomp in a team battle. 4-2-3 to 2-5-2. Decent VP lead for the blue team. Goma Pile is a little bit depleted though. Got the Battle Wagon, got the Crusader, got the Terminators. Here comes another Carnifex. And here comes another Fire Prism. SPB TV Tower, the last play in Tier 2. Ogrin's, Ogrin's got a cost reduction. I think they're down to 80 power now. Or maybe 85. They were 90, which is quite expensive because you pretty much always wanted their, their leader. Which basically made them 115 or something. Trying to just scroll through the notes here so I can see what they were changed to. 85. Oh, a little bit, a little bit less requisition as well. They're 485 now. Used to be 42590. Got a bit of XP. They've taken a lot of damage for their side, that's for sure. Trying to get this power node back. Meanwhile, Battle Wagon's very far forward. Haywire Grenade and double Fire Prisms on it. And an Eldritch just to make sure. A little bit of friendly fire on the Warp Spiders. But look, looks like it's going to go down. Chunky Coats are trying to raid a base there. And instantly, a levitation field. Meanwhile, this power's being bashed. Knob squad on the field now for Chunky Coach. They got a lot of value, I think, out of that central power, the blue team. Because it had gens for a while. And they were able to leapfrog in tech and get some stuff rolling relatively quickly here. What is this? More warp spiders? It is. We now have Grey Knight Terminators with a side cannon equipped. It's a new icon there, I think. One to one cap now. Are oh, the blue team overextended? This is really far forward to have your land raider. Because there's another Eldar player, remember, who can drop a storm. Grey Knight Terminators cracking through stuff. Here come some Ogrins. And they teleport out. That's now a Venom Cannon Carnifex. And there is the other Eldritch Storm from Sir Gunter this time. And I think the Land Red is done for it is. Fire Prisms get it. Getting a bit cocky maybe the blue team. Trying to bash power that, that intensely with a super heavy vehicle and also get into base. So Sundering. Yeah, we see Sundering here on the Terminators. Ogrin is doing a great job holding things up, but they took tons of damage there. Can they get out? Looks like they're going to be all right here. West side turning blue again, maybe. Is that capping? Yep, it's a knob squad capping there. Terminator's getting quite low. They can't retreat, of course. But are they far enough away from stuff? Oh, maybe not. Farseer puts a stop to that with the levitation field. They get a 40% damage resist while they're in that. But it's still, still taking a bunch of free hits. And everything can catch up and down they go. Heavy losses. For the blue team. They still have a Carnifex. This is a new one though. And they still have a Nob Squad. But yeah they lost a lot there. Can the red team. Fight back after this. Start getting aggressive. Level 6 Farseer. There's tier 3 for SPB. And there's Armor of Rasurian. For some time field shenanigans. Lick to Alpha's level 3. Has deadly jump. Killed that Banshee. Was that the Exarch? It was. Meanwhile, Knob Squad on the Prowl. 
Oh, are they getting... They are getting heavy gauge there. Also has improved targeters. Nob squad flee. They were trying to get onto the fire prisms. Because if they can get to the fire prisms, they're going to die so fast to a nob squad. There's a Torino formation, is it? No. That's just an infestation capillary tower. Yeah, the carn effects will make short work of a fire prism, especially if it can hit the bioplasm. We just saw that the bioplasm come through and hit that fire prism. Look how much damage it did. 550 hit points to level 2. Start with 500. Usually you get 10% hit points per level. There are some exceptions. Like I think the Space Marine Librarian, once they get to level 4, they get a, they get a bigger boost, or at least they used to. I'm not sure if that was normalized at some point. Another Bioplasma comes in, does some good work. Is that right of exorcism? It is. It slows down a vehicle, means that they take more damage. It survived it though. Commander Nobles trying to get on it too with a rocket launcher maybe. 408 to 158. Red team hold firm there. Orc trying to take the west side back, but they should get stopped, maybe. Or they're going to get a decap. We do have some plasma guardsmen. Double plasma guardsmen. None of them have their commissar, though. Anything else for the Lord the General? No. Nothing. No war gear. No new toys for Derek and Nigel over there. We do have a webway on the west side. Ogryn is getting the cap. I'm surprised they're smart enough to work the victory point over there. Double the fire prisms now for Ananim. I mean, why not? They've done well so far. Lads Cannon's getting shots on the carn effects too. There's that light of the Emperor again. Warp Spider. Piling on the DPS. At level 7. Doing some really good damage here. And they're going to try and steal that central power. Fire prisms really far forward there. Needs to be careful. And now we have some Bulgrins for SPB. Upgraded Ogryn squad. You can only have one of these on your roster at a time. Big old slab shields and the electro electro shield thing ability. I can't remember what it's called. Use your shields, I think it's called. There we go. Now be useful against the knob squad. Suppress them early as soon as they're in range and it, it might force them to pop their frenzy earlier than they would like. Uh oh, Slugger's on a walkabout, got hit. This one's defying the laws of gravity. Some Zinchian, there he goes, he's gone, he's alright. Bioplasma comes in again from downtown. Double Carnifexes for Goma Pile and double Venom Cannons. They want those fire prisms dealt with, I guess. Shooter boys, are they being sacrificed by Chunky Coats to get some... I think they are, to get some... Yeah, population is saying in the chat there. Their allies must have been pinging them, but it's like, hey, I don't want them. 354 to 140. Kasuga 7 with double Vortum Razorbacks. I think these now give you slightly more red when they get blown up. That's the only change they got. Commando still down to the mid. They could be doing so much work. Can they not repurchase? They could repurchase soon, but... They might have something in mind that they want since they just freed up all that pop. Pain Boy is up. Has probably done the implant already. On the old knob squad there. Red team have their line and they are sticking to it. And they are daring the blue team to approach when they have a heavy turret. Infiltrated knob squad. And a foot of Gork. That is nasty. Nob Squad on the heavy turret. This heavy turret does have vehicle armor, but the Nob Squad makes short work of it. Just saw a Git Source cast on the Nob Squad there to give them huge health regen from the Pain Boy. Pain Boy then runs. Orbital thrown in by Kasuga 7. Doesn't lift up the heavy weapon squad because they have that shield thing, but they got wrecked by it afterwards. Nob Squad did some good work there weren't really supported a lot to be honest and the weird boy might fall maybe oh hey we got some melter guns on the lord general 
Weird Boy survives on 20 odd hit points. Lord General needs to give up the chase. What is this? It's a Lictor Alpha. Carnifex is trying to hunt down the fire prisms. They really don't want to show their rear armor. Look at that. That was two shots. They got it with a bioplasma shot. Well played. Goma Bile. Another Carnifex on the way. I'm not sure if both of them are going to get out though. Double haywires. That was just the old one crashing. Maybe. Might be worth it to throw up an infestation tower here to help them escape. But they're alright. They're alright. Maybe. Yes. So it's got more range than I think, that fire prism. On the west side. Oh, we've got some sneaky commandos now for Chunky Coats. Probably called in from the global bar. Commander Knob just falling over. Losing that grappling hook. On the prowl. Might be looking for a fire prism. SPB has tons of resources and Sir Gunter with an avatar on the field. Here comes a Bane Blade. They did reduce the cost of the Storm Blade as well, and I think they increased the range of the gun on it. Haywise again, Eldritch Storm coming in. That Carnifex is done for. Is Goma Pile able to get some other units up to uh, run interference for those Carnifexes? Carnifexes are great, but if you only have Carnifexes, I mean, it's a big lumbering thing with vehicle armor. It's not that difficult to, to counter them. Knob Squad on the prowl. Not sure what they're looking for here. There's a Tarana formation from Goma Pile. Decent chunk of damage. They pop the frenzy. And a beautifully timed Wrath of Cain there. And they're dealt with. That's how you deal with an obstacle. Just knock them over as much as possible. Put some fire dragons up for Ananonium to help against the Carn Effectors, I suppose. Use his shield, suppressing that weird boy. Also gives some defensive bonuses to the Bullgrins while it's active. Avatar provides awesome buffs to surrounding allied infantry, including suppression immunity, although... Not a lot of suppression in the blue team right now. Through the mid. Fire Prism's getting shots again on that. Looks like it's been haywire grenaded. And there's Time Field. Can they get enough shots in here? Fun Effects is trying to march away. Nope, one of them's down. Fire Dragon's also giving chase with their Dragon Scale armor. Blue team are reeling. Goma Pile and Kasuga 7 down to a single unit each. And it was all because of that massive overextension when they had that decent lead in terms of armies. When they had the Battle Wagon and the Crusader and the Terminators and they all died in that one fight. They've been trying to recover since. Carnifexes are massively dangerous but they're being picked off. They have their number at the moment. Commando level 7. And that's a very quick kill, I think, on the Fire Prism, maybe. Yes, they got it. Commando did go down, but they got it. There's Love the Ducker. And then they flee. Bane Blade and an Avatar sitting on the west side. What are you going to do about this, Blue Team? going to be a big problem. Nicely timed foot of Gork there, though, eh? Almost wiped those Fire Dragons, actually. Level 9 Farseer doing work. Here's another Land Raider Crusader. And now it's double purgation for Kasuga to get some conversion beamers anti-vehicle uh, anti weapons up. Avatar comes to say hello. Bane Blade is there as well. There is Psychic Assailment on the conversion beamer. Is that exorcism? Exorcism on the Avatar? I guess you can do it. Level 6 Demon Hunter here. Orbital Bombardment coming in from Kasuga 7. Conversion Beamer is off the field now. Where's the other one? Is there another one? Oh, these guys haven't moved yet. Orbital was mostly to stop things advancing on the Land Raider, I think. It's taken a bunch of damage, but it has survived. 215 to 124. Can Red Team finish this comeback here? 
Knob Squad smacking stuff around. Here come the Ogrins though to suppress them. And Howling Banshee's in there too. It's a level 4 Knob Squad, but they can't take on everything. A bunch of Venom Brood now for Goma Pile. Unanunium is not happy. Why? Did they did Chunky Coats take out a Fire Prism or something? Not sure. Maybe the Commando's got it. They do have another Battle Wagon. 198 to 124. Land Raider getting quite low. There's a Wailing Doom. Exorcism on the Avatar again. Being exercised. Can it not move? Oh, I think it's. I think it was slowed down by exorcism and by the electro pulse purgation stuff. Barnifex falls. Avatar escapes on the Western VP. Battle wagon says hello. Baneblade greets it with some big old cannon fire. Bullgrins have dropped a model. Banshees, are you going to help? There we go. Knob Squad coming in behind it. Demolisher misses. Battle Wagon taking tons of damage here. Looks like it might get away. There's Time Field again. Knob Squad just being lured into gunfire, including plasma and stuff. Now suppressed by Muse's Shield. That was really nicely done by the red team. They waited for the Time Field to run out before they did the Muse's Shield. Which frustrated the hell out of the knob squad there. Looks like we have the medical sergeant up for SPB. Give medical packs to their Bullgrin buddies. The I mean the battle wagon survived. The fire the land raider did not. Rippers being annoying and amongst this Eldar stuff. Do Rippers give X even give any XP? I didn't see any red numbers pop up there. 140 to 124. Artillery spotters on the way for SPB. Another way to disrupt the knob squad. Since they asked it a big threat, Goma Pile down to double Venom Broods. Surely Red Team have done enough here. Surely. Level is Fire Prism. It's not level 2 yet. There's a foot of Gork. Maybe. He didn't go off. Did he get knocked over? Painplay is actually getting kind of low. And that's a knob squad. And that's a levitation field. I mean, it it lifted up a couple of them, but not all of them. Ogrin's coming in. Sorry, Bullgrin's coming in. And down goes the Bane Blade. Down goes the Fire Prism. Bunch of stick bombs. Did they not have user shield available earlier? Maybe not. Warp Vomit coming in. Knob squad did their job there. Sneaky knob squad. Mondo, I guess, got the Fire Prism. There's those double conversion beamers. Only really have the Avatar as a target now, those guys. Goma Pal has zero units. Not even Elixir Alpha is up there. They're trying to get on the VP there. There's a triple, though, for the red team. I mean, some wins at the end there for the blues, but... A bit too, a bit too far behind, I think. Kasuga 7 lamenting their own performance. It happens to everyone, my friend. Didn't think they did too badly. I mean, they overextended with the rest of their team earlier on, I suppose. CA Council up here for Sragunta. Using the webway, there they are. Triple cap is going to do it, I think. Good comeback for the red team. Rocket run at the end. Grid Boy survived, which is fun. Did some great work. Maybe another knob squad. Instead of that battle wagon, another knob squad might have been able to do huge amounts on the west side. Because this one did superbly well. Get another get another knob squad and another pain boy up, maybe. Instead of that second battle wagon. But battle wagons are just fun to use. People like to get them. Level 4, Lictor Alpha at the end down. Had a level 7 Demon Hunter. We had a level 8 Commander Knob with that rocket launcher is so insanely painful and effective. Level 4 Lord General. Level 10 Farseer with the Runes of Reaping at the end and a level 10 Warp Spider as well. Wow. I feel like it's not very often you get to see a level 10 Warp Spider. Must have been doing heinous amounts of damage with this heavy gauge. Well there you have it guys. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.